In this video, we are going to study two important results related to constant vector functions of one variable. So let me state the first result. So I will say that let f bar be equal to uh, f bar of t, which is a function of one variable. So it's a vector function of one variable. Then f bar has a constant magnitude if and only if f bar dot the derivative of f bar is equal to zero. So if the so this theorem says that if I want to find whether the function is having constant magnitude, I should check what I should check f bar dot df bar by dt that dot product should be equal to zero. Okay, so uh, let's simply uh, prove it. It's a very simple proof actually. So let uh, f bar have constant uh, magnitude. So constant magnitude means I'm going to denote by mod magnitude of f bar. So this I'm calling mod f bar say, and this is equal to some constant. So this means that if I take the square of that, it I will again get some constant. So I'm calling that constant equal to C dash. Now we know what is the magnitude square of a vector. We know that if I have a vector and if I have a bar square, then it is same as a bar dot a bar, right? So this means that I'm going to get here f bar dot f bar is equal to some constant C dash. Okay, and then I will differentiate both the sides. So when I differentiate with respect to T, I'm going to get D by DT of F bar dot F bar is equal to zero because the derivative of constant is zero. And then we know the product rule that derivative of U bar dot V bar is equal to U bar into D derivative other. So F bar dot DF bar by DT plus DF bar by DT dot F bar is equal to zero. And this is the same thing. We know that a bar dot b bar is same as b bar dot a bar, right? So this is the same thing to say that two times f bar dot df bar by dt is equal to zero. And therefore I can say that f bar dot df bar by dt is equal to zero, right? So on the, on the other hand, if f bar dot df bar by dt is zero, then I can certainly say that two times it is also zero. This two times I will write it as f bar df bar then df bar dot f bar. So I'm going in the reverse way, which is the same thing to say that derivative of f bar dot f bar is zero. And therefore f bar dot f bar has to be some constant. So I even get this step. And this means that the magnitude of f bar is what is constant. So we have proved the first result very quickly. Now uh, we have to look at the second result which is slightly tricky. I'm going to say that F bar has constant direction. The earlier result was related to constant magnitude. And now we are looking at the theorem. F bar has constant direction. If and only if what? F bar cross DF bar by DT is equal to the zero vector. Okay, because the cross product is the vector. Right, so now proving this result will be slightly tedious for us, okay? So uh, let's quickly write down the part one of the proof. So let me call it part one. So I will say that uh, we all know that any vector you can always write as what? You can always write as magnitude of that vector into the unit vector, right? So this is the same as why this is true because, uh, because we know that the unit vector is nothing but vector divided by its magnitude, right? So it is the same thing to say that the vector a bar can be written as what? Magnitude of the vector multiplied by the unit vector. This a cap, a, a cap is a unit vector and this is a scalar function, which is nothing but the magnitude of that particular vector. So similarly, I'm going to do it here for f bar. So let me leave this rough calculation here. So I will say, so let f bar be written in the same fashion. I'm going to write it in the fashion of f, which is a which is a scalar, which is a magnitude of that of f bar multiplied by the unit vector. That unit vector I'm going to call f cap, right? So what is f here? 
f is nothing but the magnitude of that vector and what is f cap f cap is a unit vector right and therefore when i calculate f bar cross df bar by dt now what am i going to get i'm going to substitute this f bar as f f cap okay so this will be f into f cap cross d by dt of f into f cap correct so this means that uh, when i take out when i try to find a derivative of this so this will be become f f cap is as it is okay plus what is the derivative of f f cap so there's a cross here cross product with what is the derivative of a scalar function multiplied by a vector function this we have seen in the previous video it is scalar function f into the derivative of the vector function plus the derivative of the scalar function into the vector as it is right so this means that uh, now i can write if i try to cross this with each of the terms inside so it will become f f cap cross f df cap by dt plus the second term will be now i'm doing the second term f f cap cross df by dt f cap correct so here if you uh, see carefully what is going to happen this is a scalar and this is a scalar so those scalars will multiply and i'm going to get f square and what is going to remain f cap cross d f cap by d t plus who are the scalars in the second term this is a scalar and this is also scalar so they will multiply and get together so f into d f by d t this is scalar and what is remaining now f cap cross f cap but we know that a bar cross vector with cross product with itself is always zero so this term will go away so i am left with what i am left with f square into f cap cross d f cap by dt so what is my left hand side what was my left hand side my left hand side was f bar cross d f bar by dt okay so we have proved in the first part i'm going to say this equation one in the first part we have proved that f bar cross d f bar by dt is equal to f square into f cap cross d f cap by dt we are going to need this expression okay remember what is f cap f cap is a unit vector okay remember f cap is a, what is f f is the magnitude of the vector f bar i'm going to denote it by f right now let us start with the actual proof right now what is the actual statement of the proof the, the statement says that if you assume that if you assume that uh, the vector f bar has constant direction if you assume that f bar has constant direction then i have to prove what then i have to prove that f bar cross df bar by dt is equal to zero bar okay this is what you have to prove let me just go above and see what is the statement the statement says that if f bar has constant direction then i have to prove that f bar cross df bar by dt is equal to how much is zero so that's what i have written here i'm assuming that f bar has constant direction and i have to prove that f bar dot df bar f bar cross df bar by dt is zero so f bar is nothing but f into f cap so this means that f cap is the direction because it's a vector f is just a scalar so who is the direction of that f bar f f cap is the direction right so this is the magnitude every vector has a magnitude and direction so who is the magnitude in this uh, part f is magnitude and f cap is the direction but it is given to us that it has constant direction means f bar is direction means f cap is direction means f f cap is constant because it is the direction and we are assuming that the direction is constant right so if the direction is constant right means f cap is constant this means what the derivative of f cap has to be equal to 
zero because if anything any if any vector is constant then its derivative has to be equal to zero and therefore when i substitute this expression in equation 1 therefore my equation 1 becomes what therefore my equation 1 becomes let me see what is my equation 1 equation 1 was this f bar cross df bar by dt is this right so equation 1 becomes f bar cross df bar by dt is equal to f square into f cap cross df cap by dt and this is nothing but how much this is equal to what what is this equal to f square f cap into zero because this is zero right so this entire so i'm substituting this zero here so we are getting what we are getting a zero vector so one way is proved so we have proved that if you assume that the direction is constant then i have proved that f bar cross df bar by dt is equal to 0 now let's prove the other way so let us assume that f bar cross df bar by dt is equal to 0 so let f bar cross df bar by dt be equal to 0 and what am i supposed to prove in this part in this part i'm supposed to prove that f bar has constant direction okay i have to prove that f bar is constant direction right so again by equation 1 i'm going to refer equation 1 again what can i what do i know by equation 1 f bar cross df bar by dt is equal to f square into f cap cross df cap by dt right and this is given to us that this part is zero we have assumed that it is equal to zero so zero is equal to f square into f cap cross df cap by dt and this f square is a constant so i will push this constant to the left hand side and and, and divide it by 0 so i will get 0 is equal to f cap cross df cap by dt is equal to 0 okay this is zero vector sorry here so i'm getting f cap cross df cap by dt is equal to 0 right and we know that and what do we know f cap is unit vector correct f cap is a unit vector i told you just before that it is a unit vector and what do we know about unit vector its magnitude is what its magnitude is 1 because it's a unit vector so means f cap has constant magnitude what is that constant magnitude the constant magnitude is 1 and therefore by result 1 which we have proved above if something has a constant magnitude then by the first result that we proved in this video is that f f cap dot df cap by dt has to be equal to 0 right this is what we have proved in the first result in the first result we proved that if something has a constant magnitude then f bar dot df bar by dt that dot product will become what that dot product will. so who has taken the place of f bar in this problem here f bar is replaced by what f bar is replaced by f cap because f cap has a constant magnitude right so from equation a and b now if i look at this equation a and b carefully i am getting that i have two vectors a bar and b bar okay who are the two vectors this is first vector this is second vector this is the first vector this is the second vector i have two vectors such that their cross product is also zero okay and their dot product is also zero see equation says that their cross product is zero equation b says that their dot product is also equal to zero right so what can i say about the two vectors whose cross product is also zero and dot product is also zero not only that i have an information that the first vector see f cap the first vector is of magnitude 1 okay the first vector has magnitude 1 if the vector has magnitude 1 means that vector cannot be zero right so this a bar cannot be equal to zero so i have information with me that cross product of two vectors is also zero dot product of two vectors is also zero and one of the vector is not zero so what can you say about the other vector this cross product and dot product will both come to be equal to zero if what if the second vector must become what 
the second vector must become zero, right? Because the first vector is not zero. Their cross products and dot products both are zero. So me, uh, cross product means the two vectors which are uh, there, they are parallel to each other. Dot product is means what? They they uh, the two vectors are perpendicular to each other. So this this figure a bar and b bar says that a bar dot b bar is zero. This vec th this figure says that a bar and b bar are parallel means a bar cross b bar is equal to zero. So how can I find two vectors which are perpendicular also to each other and parallel to each other? This situation at the same time cannot occur, right? And I know that one of the vectors is not equal to zero. So, so when will this situation occur that both the vectors are parallel also and both the vectors are perpendicular also? In that case, you can say that this second vector has to be which vector? It has to be the it has to be the zero vector. Okay, so b bar is equal to how much? So b bar is equal to zero. So therefore, by equation a and b, what can I say? Which vector is going to be zero in this particular part? So f cap cannot be zero because its magnitude is one. Therefore, I can say that d f cap by d t. This person, this person who's who is pretty who is playing the role of b. Okay, that person has to be a zero vector. So d f cap by d t zero means what? Means f cap is constant. And who is f cap in our problem? F cap means the direction of f. F cap was what? F cap was the direction of the vector f that is constant and this is what we wanted to prove right see let, let me just recall so we have assumed that f bar dot df bar by dt is zero f bar cross df bar by dt is zero and we have proved that f bar has constant direction who is that constant direction it is f cap okay f cap is what we have proved that f cap is constant because f cap denotes its direction so this means that the vector f bar has constant direction. So this finishes the proof of both the theorems.